Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our Let's Play here on Kalen. Um, I'm just going to start doing stuff and meanwhile talk because can you believe that it's been almost a month since I recorded something for the Let's Play? It's kind of weird. I checked before because um, so I think I talked about this in the last episodes actually that I visited my sister and like first I visited my parents and then I was home for like maybe four days or so just in between and then I visited my sister and then it's just it's been kind of it's been kind of stressful and busy in some ways and so I pre-recorded a bunch of episodes um and uh, by a bunch I mean like maybe five <laughs> um and then uploaded all of those and here we are now uh it's I think this is episode 40 which is wild to think about like 40 episodes already and like by the way we still have not decorated anything so like that's kind of uh that's kind of tragic really but we're getting there um I thought a lot about the let's play in the last couple of weeks and I'm gonna talk about it all but so for me it's been I think the last recording was on the 12th of September and today it's the 6th of October so it's been like three weeks um a little bit more I think uh which is which is ridiculous but I'm very excited to be back. Um, I thought a lot about, about the Let's Play. As you know, if you've seen some of the last episodes, uh, I'm really torn on a lot of things and I keep changing my opinion on a lot of things. But it's okay because we're figuring it out, figuring it out together. Um, and, you know, reading all your comments about like certain things that I talked about in the previous episodes has really kind of helped me and has really made me uh, think about it a little bit more. So that's very good. All right, so first of all, I want to say time is a weird concept. I started this Let's Play so long ago, but it still kind of feels like yesterday too. Like I started it, and I'm not kidding you, at the start of July, um, because I started working on videos for the Let's Play as I was taking some time off of streaming and also pretty much YouTube, but then I felt like very inspired to do, the, to do this series, and so I started doing that. Um, just during the Twitch break, which was in like June and July, and then I started it, I'm not sure when the first episode was was up actually, but, um, so it's been a few months, and we have not really, I want to almost say we haven't achieved anything, I guess that would kind of be wrong, because, you know, we're taking it very slow, we're doing a lot of gameplay things, which a lot of you have said that you really enjoyed that, and you really loved seeing that, because it's not really the most common to show that anymore, um, which I wholeheartedly agree with, it's really, I'm, oh god, feelings about the community, we can talk about that today as well, it's, I'm really sad about it, but, um, it's fine. But yeah, so we're taking it super slow. And then also with the let's play character. Um, and like I usually sit down and I'll record like anything between. Well, today I'll probably only, only record this one episode. But I'll record anything between one and probably like four episodes at once. Um, because, you know, considering the length and everything, at some point my voice gets like super raspy and weird. And then I still obviously need to like prepare all the... All the episodes as well so I don't want to just kind of not do that you know um, and so usually by now I started uploading them a lot like a lot more frequently I upload it like every single day I think in July or something and uh, even like sometimes twice a day um, we've gone back down to like maybe three two three episodes per week depending on if there's like another video that I want to upload or something like that and I, I, I'm really enjoying just having something to upload and, and being able to just enjoy the game and being able to chat about it with all of you. Like, it's been really fun to just talk about it all. Um, but at the same time, you know, it is super slow. And sometimes I have to hold myself back because I get very impatient and everything. But it's, it's okay. Uh, we are getting there. And, um, you know, I've been chatting about, like, how I want to... Um, actually, before we bring this home, we can maybe just go ahead and take a care of some of the tree stems. Ooh, the ultimate clutter uh, achievement. Great. All right. We got our first our first achievement, I think, completely, uh, completely unlocked. That's awesome. All right. Actually, well, the fruit roots, but, you know, it's not really the same. You know what I mean? Um... But yeah, so I've been chatting a bit about like the instant gratification thing before. These are our money trees, but that's okay. We're, we're just going to replant them. But for right now, I just, I finally want to 
get rid of the chaos and really clean up this island. So we're just anything that's in our in our path is uh, is gonna go. Um, yeah, so like instant gratification and all that kind of stuff. And I said before that I, oh, okay, we'll leave you that one, Horsey. Um, I want to, obviously with this let's play being a bit slower and stuff, we kind of want to counteract it. Is that the right way to say that? Um, but we kind of want to work like against that and we don't want to rush things too much. Um, but then also I did talk about like treasure islands and stuff. We went to a treasure island before and I wasn't a hundred percent sure how I was going to do it. I, you know, I said before that I would, tr I would try and get the stuff, um, like organically throughout the game and then just get like multiples of the same thing from treasure island. So I don't have to do like ordering five times per day, uh, five items per day and stuff like that. And, um, and then I got comments being like, oh, you know, like I really want to see the decorating. And then other people said that they really enjoy the gameplay and it's like what they enjoy most. And it's, it's, I was super torn or like I was super torn between everything. And we briefly chatted about it on stream as well. Uh, and someone said a really good thing and they were like, okay, maybe you should sit down and like maybe write down or just think about how you want this let's play to be like what do you want to show what kind of things do you want to bring across in this let's play what do you want to be part of it like what feelings and what content what whatever and i thought this was an actual really good thing because that's what i did first like that's what i initially did when i started this let's play is i had this idea of what i wanted to have as part of the let's play or why i wanted to do it you know um and i feel like because of all the the rush and the progress no, procrastinating is probably wrong but because of all the like pressure to be faster in island decorating which you know it, it every speed and island decorating has its own like right to exist for sure but this one was never supposed to be like the very quick one but because of like this pressure and also honestly just me being impatient and wanting to start decorating i've kind of almost lost sight of that i feel like so it was really good and over the last few weeks where i didn't record anything new and i just kind of uploaded the things that i had already uh, recorded um like up front i was able to kind of think about that a little bit more and I have to say, we'll stick with the mixture of like gameplay and faster, like um, instant gratification achievement stuff and items and et cetera, et cetera. So uh, I, I'll try to make this the last <laughs> announcement. I know I've like talked about this so many times, but at the same time, it's fine. We're like I said, we're figuring it out together. And I think it's, it's good and it's important that I let you know about what's going to happen. Um, so that's also why I don't think I said even what we're going to do today, but today I really want to clean up the island, uh, once and for all pretty much. And then there's a couple of other episodes, um, that I have planned for the upcoming ones, which I'll talk about in a second. But before I get into that, let me finish the like treasure island and kind of plans talk. So, um, and I'll circle back to that later when I talk about like what type of episodes, uh, they're going to, they're going to be. Basically, we're still going to do like the little mixture of faster approach to decorating and slow gameplay. But what I want to do, there are a couple of items that I just don't think I could start decorating without, like specific things that I put on the mood board, you know, um, I already got a few flowers because I, I honestly couldn't like work without flowers and stuff. And I think I also got fences uh, on one of the last episodes. But there are still like a few other things like household items and also like recipes that I just don't think I could work without. So what I want to do is I want to get those. I want to do like an essentials uh, shopping episode, I think, where I just go ahead and I get um, a pocketful or maybe a few pocketfuls just of the things that I think I couldn't do this island um, without. Like, for example, it's supposed to be a coastal island, right? We're, we're building a romantic coastal island. And I had a lot of shell items on my um, on my mood board, and I actually don't have a lot of shell DIYs. I think the only one I've got is, ooh, correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, let me check this. I think I had the speaker. I think I had the shell speaker, and maybe something else. 
I do have the fountain that's pretty cute. Not the shell fountain though. Where? Oh, there we go. Yeah, the speaker. I do actually have the speaker. And then apart from that, I only found floorings and wallpapers and of course the our little our little bag, which is great and I love it, but at the same time, can't really decorate with it. And there's just a few things such as, I'll talk about this more in detail when we get to that episode, of course, but um, for example, I really wanted to work with the shell partition and also the shell, well, the the speaker, but also the lamp, um, the stool, like there's just a few of those things. And then, for example, I, when I think about like a romantic coastal retreat, I also think about like bigger, like very soft white, blue and pink, like a campground maybe for which I would want to have the kids tents. I can only get those during like December. So we'd have to go skip to December just to find the kids tents and time travel to a day when they actually have the kids tent in our nooks cranny. Um, and then maybe it's the wrong customization. So I'd have to go and talk to Cyrus. And it's just a whole lot of stuff that's like really awkward to do on on the let's play. So um, I think, like I said, we're gonna go and get a pocket full of like essentials, at least so that we have them in our catalog and then uh, we can finally start. And then anything else, like any other item that I don't think is absolutely 100% necessary, uh, we're just gonna find organically. We're gonna check nooks, we're gonna check the DLC, we're gonna find message uh, messages in a bottle and stuff like that. And then I do want to try that when we decorate and I notice that I'm like, oh, I'm missing log stakes, that I don't like go and get them from a treasure island, but that I actually build them in the moment, you know? Um, so a few a few things we're still gonna we're still gonna do organically and find organically, but there's just a few other um, items that I just like the wheat fields, I desperately need wheat fields to decorate with, and I just I could find them like tomorrow in my DLC uh, shop, but it could also take me like three more weeks or so of constantly checking, and I just I don't want to I don't want to wait that long uh, or like the recipes and stuff. So yeah, that's that's the plan I guess for how fast this is gonna go, and um, just to I feel like there's a few of you who have just started playing uh, Animal Crossing not too long ago, and you might have been confused at what I just talked about with the kids tents. So I kind of want to briefly explain that. If you already know that, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I feel like maybe some of you don't. So there is a few items that are kind of considered, I guess, seasonal items, and you're going to be able to find them in your upgraded Nook's Cranny. So not the one that we... Oh, no, actually, isn't ours, like, upgrading currently? I think ours is upgrading, but not the one that's like, looks like a little wooden shop, but the one that's, like, orange and blue. Um, so in your upgraded Nook's Cranny, to the left of the entrance, you can find seasonal items. So... During, for example, summer, that's that's just going to be like a surfboard, for example. Um, and every island, depending on, I think the airport color in, is the deciding factor. I'm actually not sure. Airport color or something from Nooks, from the Nook stop. Um, but that kind of determines the type of surfboard, like the color and the customization of surfboard that you get. Although now that they introduced Cyrus introduce Cyrus is good it's been like over a year um but now that we've got Cyrus it's not really an issue anymore because you can just go ahead and customize it if you don't like it but um yeah so you can always only find one customization of those seasonal things in your own store and then you have to kind of work around it so during summer that is the surfboard and then during like Halloween season which I think could be like right now I'm I guess you could find those right now you can find a whole bunch of pumpkin items you can find um Ooh, there's this one light, there, like a, a tree, it's like a little tree thing with the hanging pumpkin light on it and stuff like that. So you can find really cute pumpkin items that you might also be able to craft. I feel like you can craft those. But I definitely have them. I see them in Nook's Cranny. I see that you can purchase them there. Oh gosh, I'm. it's been a while since I've played like and paid attention to seasonal things. So I'm. my knowledge on it is a little rusty, but I do know the basics around it. Um, and then what else? So like during, well, in February, for example, you can find a whole bunch of the festivali stuff, like the garland and the balloon lamp and stuff like that, which is awesome. You can also customize those with uh, Cyrus. So you don't even need those uh, feathers that you'd need to customize it. And then during holiday season, so around December, um, 
you can find those holiday themed seasonal items, I guess. A lot of like toy day things. They got introduced when the first like toy day update was dropped in 2020. And they introduced all of these different, um, all of these different like furniture and, and, and play things. Like there is a robot and a little helicopter and there's dinosaurs and um, there's also the kids tent actually, or the puppy plushie. Like there's really cute stuff and the kids tent is part of it as far as I can remember. So you can only find them during December of some sorts. I'm not sure in what time span exactly, but leading up to toy day, which is the 24th um, of December, you can find the kids tents uh, in Nook's Cranny on the seasonal spot, but you know, it's not gonna be there every day. So sometimes it includes a little bit of time traveling and time skipping, but yeah. Uh, that definitely means if you want to kind of go ahead and try uh, let's say a no online island or you don't have Nintendo online, for example, there are ways for you to actually be pretty certain to get specific things such as like the kids tents because you can you can pretty much find them for sure during like the toy day period. It's just a matter of when exactly. But it's kind of nice because it makes every it makes every season have something spe specific that you would want to play it for um, unless, of course, you're you're eating and using treasure islands but that's fine um but yeah so that's that's the plan um because when i sat down and i thought about how i want this let's play to be and to feel and everything i um i definitely i this is it's why i started it and it's still the feeling that i wanted to have is i want it to be a very calming thing um, it's going to be a pretty long playlist, probably. I mean, like I said, this is episode 40 and we haven't really decorated anything just yet. We did do code shopping uh, for most of the codes, which speaking of, um, I updated the Kalen section on my website. So all of the codes that we've uh, found so far, all the codes that we've decided to keep so far are now on the website. Uh, and of course, there's no pictures there just yet for like the specific areas, but the codes are there. So if you ever have anything that you see, or if you already have seen some of the codes uh, and you'd like to just have a way to find the code quickly or the creator, uh, it should be there now. But yeah, so like we found the codes and we've we've done the mood board, which I feel like is a big part of planning and, and, and kind of knowing which items to use and stuff, uh, which is like a big part of decorating for sure. But we haven't actually decorated anything and we're we're already here for 40 episodes and they're like half an hour long at least a lot of them are actually like an hour long um and i think this one today might be a little bit longer as well just because i do want to try and flatten all of this we'll see if if that actually works out um and so you know since it's gonna be like this long-term kind of project um I want it to be very cozy. I want this to be, and I've, I've talked about this a bunch of times and considering your, your comments, which by the way, I, I've just, I really love hearing from all of you. It, it like makes me very happy to hear how this uh, let's play is kind of just being company for you during your day and stuff like that. But I really want this to be something comforting. You, I, I'm, I doubt that you click on these to have something super exciting and like over the top and whatnot. Like, I mean, yeah, there will be funny moments and there will be important moments um, for like the entire island progress and stuff, but not everything is like some of the stuff is just like today. We're just, we're just hanging out. We're just flattening this island and chatting um, or I'm blabbering your ear off really, but that's exactly what it's supposed to be because at some point I'd like this to be a finished playlist, you know, and then you, you will just have an entire island progress from start to finish completely the way that I would usually play it, you know? Well, can, I, sometimes I do a little bit more gameplay, sometimes I do a little bit less, but basically it'll be like a complete island progress and you can just kind of put it on and it's something to binge on if you want to, um, or, or not. Maybe you'll just pick and choose like episodes that seem important to you or seem interesting to you and that's perfectly valid too, but basically the idea of this content, of this let's play content, is to have it as yeah, your company during your day, just as you go about your day, either you're working or you're also playing Animal Crossing, you might be playing different games, you might be um, knitting or you might be cleaning up or stuff like that. Like that's how I put videos like this on. I 
did watch um, Froggy Crossing's 30 day challenge. I just saw that Mayor Mori, I think their channel is, um, has also started doing a challenge like that. And I love, I love those types of videos um, where it's like a continuous process and you can just kind of put it on a little bit as you do other tasks on the side. And like, it's, it's kind of just nice to, to watch the progress. But if you look away for a few seconds, it's also not the worst. Like you're going to get back into it, especially with this, because it's a real time let's play. And that's the vibe that I want. Like it doesn't need to be, not every second needs to be um, edited and, and, and exciting and, and special and whatever. I've got like other videos for that. You know, this is the, this is the kind of project that just works alongside everything else. Like there will still be other videos. I just uploaded a video um, where I did interior decorating on my city island, and that is a lot more edited. That has a lot more um, editing done to it. And I, 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 well, I tried to be a little bit funnier and more entertaining during it, I guess. And um, so there will be videos like that, or even like island tours, or showing different, I don't know, tips and tricks or whatnot. But this is just the project that exists alongside everything else. Or you can just hopefully slow down and kind of um, not worry too much about like missing something. You know, we our attention spans are already so like messed up. And sometimes it's like, have you ever had it happen that you put on a video and you just zone out at some point and you, at some point you zone back in and you're like, I didn't know. I have no idea what happened. And you can't like you have to rewatch it because you missed so much. These videos are great for that because I feel like even if you zone out for the entire episode, it's fine. Like you're just going to be able to hop back in next episode and that's okay. Um, and that's the vibe that I want to have. But at the same time, of course, I do want this to be a finished island from, 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 well, from start to finish. A, com well, it's a completed island from start to finish is probably the better way to phrase that. So I, I do want to make progress. And um, if, you know, we did some we did some episodes uh, last where we tried like catalog expanding. So basically, I think there were like two episodes when we just kind of tried traveling, time traveling to a new to a new day, day every day. Time traveling to a new day every day. Yeah, interesting. Uh, and just kind of checked some dailies, you know, like we just checked Nook's Cranny, we checked for a message bottle, we shook all of her trees and, and plucked her produce and stuff so that we could sell it and then make money and pay off our house and have more storage and then try to fill that storage with cute items, etc., etc. Um, and that can honestly be like an almost never ending process. The amount of items that are in this game and like the amount of time that I played on my first island without any of like time traveling or, or anything like that. And I did not have a lot of things really. So um, we could be here for a while if we continue doing that, and then we could easily probably fill 200 episodes of just us trying to find cute things, you know? And then last episode, I think we went to Reese and Cyrus, and we just took, like, things with us that we thought were interesting, uh, and then we customized them so we had the different things in our, in our catalog. And, like, I'm glad that I, I did those things, and we might do them every once in a while in between. I'm glad that I showed it, because it's, it's how you would naturally fill up your catalog. It's like actual part of the gameplay. And I think um, a lot of people might be interested in that be like, oh, this is this is good to know. I didn't know like you did this or um, you could do this or whatever. Or um, someone also commented they didn't really understand the the um, the sketch app before or they had never used it in that sense. Or someone else said like they hadn't even thought about customizing the things so they had them in their catalog and then could order them. So I'm glad I showed them. Like I, I want those things to be part of the play. So even if like you're just starting out to play Animal Crossing, this might help you in a lot of ways and guide you through the entire um, game as well. Um, but you know, like I said, we could fill 200 episodes with it and the island would not really progress all that much. So uh, a healthy mix. A healthy, a healthy mix is exactly what I want. So um, that all being said, I hope you could follow my my train of thought. Again, I feel like if you're if you're if you're here since the first episode and you're still here, you probably know my brain a little bit by now, and you kind of probably know how my train of thought goes and how my you know jumping from one thing to the other thing goes. So I feel like you probably understood what I meant. 
Um, but yeah, I hope it wasn't too hard to follow <laughs> and that you kind of understood where it was coming from. Um, and also, of course, a feedback and, and opinions and stuff always appreciate as long as you're respectful and nice um, or like constructive criticism and stuff uh, is always appreciated. So me saying like, ooh, this is how we're going to do it um, still doesn't mean it's set in stone, really. Right. I mean, I've said this a few times before. I feel more sure of my opinion now because of, of really thinking about it for the last few weeks, but you can, I can still, I can still like change my opinion. I, I love, I love to change my opinion, you know, <laughs> but yeah. So, uh, that all being said, I actually have a few, well, episodes planned as much as you can plan them in an actual like real time, uh, let's play. But basically, uh, this is the last and final preparation phase for decorating, for starting to work on the island. Um, so basically, in today's episode, uh, however long this episode may be, I would like to clean up the island. We already cleared all the tree stems and we already cleared all the stuff from the entrance, which was um, a huge thing to do. We'll keep up the we'll keep up the butterflies or like the bug collection for whenever flick flick comes around because we can always make a few extra bugs, you know. Um, but we'll, we might have to move that somewhere else. Um, so so that is that is one of the things is the final cleaning. So we finally have the the flattened island. You know, I've been saying this for a while now. I've been. I've been talking about it and it's it's really I I mean oh my god <laughs> that is so much island still oh gosh but you know it's something I do every time I uh I have a new island is I completely I, I do completely flatten it and I don't want to oh oh wait oh wait I wanted to like round all these things now I can't okay let's move in here then uh because I already thought I was like almost done going through at least once, but nah, -uh. nah. -uh. Okay, it's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, so cleaning, cleaning is first the first thing we're doing today. So just that means no uh, stuff like on the floors and no uh, no more cliffs. Um, so that we can just we can just get started really, and especially around the entrance. The entrance is clear, so that's good. But it would be great if everything else is also cleared. Uh, and then number two, I don't know if this is the correct order that I want to do it in, but I think so. Number two uh, that I want to still achieve and still work on before we start the decorating is that essential shopping episode. So we'll do an episode where we just kind of work on getting a few things from Cheddar Islands that we can't live without. That includes wheat fields, that includes a wooden storage shed probably. Um, and a couple of other things I actually made like a little list. Uh, we'll see if that fills an entire episode, honestly. I don't know, but that is one of the things I definitely want to, to do before, uh, before we decorate. And then also maybe like get multiples of those, like, so that we not only have one weed field, but like a, a few more, let's just put it that and let's just leave it at that. A few, a few more. Um, then what I would like to do is one more episode of grinding through the DLC. Um, basically I thought about maybe a challenge, like how many houses can I decorate in like 30 minutes or so? And the timer always just starts when I'm like in the house and like about to start decorating. Um, let's move our way to the left here so that we we really make progress i think we already decorated a decent amount of houses but it was always like on the side of doing something else that episode so um we maybe could do an entire episode with like dlc grinding because also uh i would like to do one more round of codes uh actually maybe we can combine the codes and the essentials i feel like time wise that could work together in one episode but so there's one more round of codes that i want to do i got a few recommendations from you like a few uh, creator codes from you in the comments and i wanted to check back if i still had any others left um so one more round of codes and essentials shopping and then i'd like to build um or i'd like to create a mood board like an in-game decorated mood board 
with the DLC. I don't know why I never thought of this before, um, but it's really, it's really handy to just build like a, a house, a little house front yard situation with like the theme that you've got in mind on the DLC island because you can easily remove all the furniture or like try new ones and have like a much bigger catalog at your disposal. Is that correct? I think so. I'm not sure. Um, and it's actually really nice. You can easily try out like different times of the year and times of the day as well. And especially because we do want to build this island in cherry blossom season, which works very well with the um with the dlc stuff uh i i don't know why i didn't think of this before but i think that'll be a good idea and so because of that first i'd like to do the dlc grinding and also the essential stuff so that we have a few more things in our catalog and also like a few more things unlocked because of course with the very first house that you decorate you're not going to have access to a lot of things and then the inspo thing probably is not going to be the absolute best so um that's the plan. Uh, one more, one more code episode. I don't think it was gonna fill an episode. I don't have that many, that many codes left. Um, but one more, one more uh, time of code searching, I guess. Uh, one half an episode <laughs> of essential shopping, and then DLC grinding, and so then we can do the mood board. And after we've done all of that, we can get started on the entrance. Uh, and that is something to think about. I've actually been, <laughs> because this ties back to the time as a joke uh, kind of thing that I talked about first. And that is, it's a weird concept and it's been so long since we started because it is now October, right? And I started and I had this idea, like this island theme idea in like June, July. Uh, and I feel like I don't know what I wanted to do anymore. Like I have an idea of what I want this island to look like now. But I have a feeling it's a different one to the one that I had in June, July. Like, does that make sense? Like I just, I feel like I had a slightly different concept and and slightly different ideas when I first thought of this. And over the course of the months, excuse me, I'm recording something here. I'm not sure if you can hear that. I do have like a noise uh, gate on my mic now, and I'm I'm not even sure I like it, by the way. <laughs> but um, I'm not sure if you could hear that loud car, but. Yeah, it's just like over over time, over these months, it's I feel like my vision of the island has shifted into something else. And that's not necessarily good or bad in any way. It's just it's just slightly different. And so I do worry a little bit that I'm not really gonna do what I had initially planned in a way. Isn't that weird? As if you give me like the the same way, um I need to organize my thoughts in my head before I like can form sentences. But it, it's kind of the same with my very first island theme that I completed an island with, like Plant Core. If you today gave me the prompt of a Plant Core island, obviously we have a lot of different items now because that was a 1.0 island. But if you gave me that prompt today, the island would look so different to the one that I created back then. Um, and I feel like that's a super interesting concept, you know? Uh, but yeah, so I don't know if this is still going to turn out exactly the way that I want it. Um, if the name is still correct or anything, we might have to like adjust it later on. We'll see. But yeah, I need to think about the entrance. I think at some point I thought of having a second character as well. I think we talked about that before. I'm not sure I want that. See, for me, for me, I think what it is for me is my thought has shifted away a little bit from the retreat idea, like the different stories for the villagers. I think my my as I've been focusing more and more about like acquiring the items that I want and stuff like that, I, I've shifted a little bit away from this retreat and story uh, behind the theme. And I've really been mo mostly focusing on the aesthetic, like the different colors and the different items, etc. So I might have to bring that back in a little bit because I do think it was with the with the story in line uh sorry the story in mind that um the different like I don't know area ideas and stuff came to 
came to life and all of that. And also like my my old entrance uh, idea. My old entrance idea. It's not even true. I never had like an entrance idea. I just at some point thought about like having an additional character, which is definitely tied to like the retreat idea and having, um, I think I thought about having like a lot of water by the entrance, almost starting with like a lake or something um, to drive like the ser serene and like peaceful thing home. This, I, there's, there's still so much cliff. And we've already been here for 36 minutes. Okay, are you are you ready for a little bit more landscaping? Because buckle up, buckle in. English. Uh, because we I, I might I might actually push through. If I have enough things to chat about, I might actually push through. Um Okay, I talked about I think I talked about the stuff that I wanted to talk about. So let's let's actually think about the entrance, right? So um, for a little bit, I had the idea of having um, another character. I don't know what their name would be or their profession or anything, but I believe we were um, imagining them to be like a retreat, like an actual retreat house, you know, um, so that my house of like this main character could still be like my house, basically. Um, I don't know if I want to do that, though, because it feels I'm not sure I like that anymore with the well with the with the story in mind it probably would be a good idea but then again we don't want this to be like a retreat for tourists we want this to be more like a secluded island where the villagers who live here like the residents who live here have just kind of used this as an escape from their busy lives that they came from so it's not really touristy so i don't know if we need a retreat like that or like a hotel or anything like that which I'm pretty sure it would have probably turned into. I probably would have done like the main room would have been like the the entrance, like reception front desk thing. And then I'm guessing like the downstairs and upstairs would have been like maybe spa or like main areas. And then I think the side rooms would have probably been like different hotel rooms, which I think is really fun. But again, if we think about it being more the escape island for like the, the residents who live here, it doesn't really fit. So we might not do that. We might not do that. I definitely, well, actually, hold on. As I chat about this, where is my Canva? All right, here is my, I've got my mood board now. Um, I The mood board is also on my website, uh, sparksby.com. And then if you go to Islands and Codes and on Callan, I did put the mood board there. So um, it's relatively easy to find if you also want to pull it up. Um, first of all, we still have to find a lot of villagers too, but we might do that as we start decorating. Oh, would we want someone to live by the entrance? That might not be a bad idea. We might have to figure out someone who lives by the entrance, but we can just kind of leave a plot open and, um, and let them move in and stuff. But so I, I did think about having like a, uh, like a, a lake type entrance so there's like a lake or just a lot of water and it's like a very peaceful and serene area right from the start um and then i think when i still thought about having a second character i was thinking to have that house there i might not do that but we might put like another house there or put like um hmm, maybe like a, a building I did want to have a big campground, so I guess like the, the the campsite would be should be used for like an actual campsite area. But I was just thinking that that could be really cute on. Oh, you know what we? Oh, I don't think we have the space for that. Okay, so you know how on like my on my swampy island. Oh, that would be so pretty though. Okay, okay, focus. I need to tell you about the idea first before I like freak out. We don't have that much room by the airport uh, and like from resident services either. But how about if we do actually include a lot of water with the entrance? Uh, like I'm thinking almost like Naporia, kind of like an archipelago kind of island. Lots of either like a big lake with tiny like islands on it. Uh, or just just tiny little pathways in between and then um, like lots of water surrounding it, but it's still more land than water in a way. Uh, and then there's, there's well, there's lots of water. There might be, it might be like, I'm not sure. It might be like, it might not be like, uh, and then we do tiny like campsite islands, also kind of like Naporia, 
Um, but more water. No, I'm seeing more water. I'm so sorry. I'm seeing more water in our future. <laughs> and lots of confusion. No, but um, more water. And then campsite, uh, like camp islands, maybe even further into the distance. And you can reach them from resident service too. So like if there are tourists and, and visitors who also want to have a piece of the, the romantic coastal retreat pie, coastal breeze, romantic serene escape island, <laughs> then they can just stay by the entrance and they don't disrupt like the life of the other villagers almost. But basically lots of water and then we do the campsite thing right by the entrance uh, in a way and then as you go on it kind of becomes a little bit more uh like cozy and closed off and more trees maybe we should do that maybe we should do that so we don't actually have we don't actually have a house by the entrance but you're gonna see the campsite and then for the da we're gonna definitely invite like a camper so um, we're gonna have to make sure that that kind of looks pretty from the front, I think that would be a good idea. I think that would be a good idea. And then we still kind of connect things maybe with like bridges. We do have up to 10 bridges. Um, it's not supposed to be like an archipelago or like swampy island. So we, we're just gonna need a regular amount of of bridges, but maybe we can use a couple of them in this, in this entrance section. Yeah, maybe. And then maybe we can do with, I'm sorry, my brain is going, I, this is, this is how it works in my brain. Um, and then just imagine that like times 10, because there's usually like around 10, no, probably it's probably over exaggerated, but there's always more than one island theme idea in my head. And then I start kind of thinking about the vibe and the different areas and everything for, uh, for those. So it is, it is definitely, it's so much fun, <laughs> but how about if we build a little fake house with storefronts by the entrance as well. Like just a tiny one. It doesn't need to be super big. Uh, just like as though that is the the house where you kind of log in. <laughs> no, that's not the word. Um, but, you know, where when you arrive and you actually want to stay at the campsite, that's kind of who you talk to. Maybe, but maybe the rest of the service is close enough so we don't have to do that. And then also I would love to have like a gazebo by the entrance um, or a fountain or something like not like right there, but just so you see it. I feel like that'd be a really, really nice vibe. Um, and then maybe that big campsite. And then from there, it kind of, there's, we have to think about flow as well. Like the flow of the island, how you get from one place to the other, especially if there's so much water by the entrance. Um, Right, and then so some stuff I had written down was bird watching and duck feeding, which where is my secret beach? Oh, okay, my secret beach is to the very left because my idea was also, right, I wanted to have this big, so it says big lake lookout. I'm not sure if I meant exactly that or if that was something else I did not put on the mood board, but I want to have this one spot with like a bench and then maybe that, um, Oh, telescope. No, what is it called? The t tourist telescope, I think. Uh, and then there's going to be this like big, beautiful kind of overview with like cliffs and waterfalls. And there's going to be like lots of ducks and stuff and it'll end up like, shells and everything. And um, we m might include some of like the sand stuff as well. So it's, I don't know, just a nice overview. And then I was going to do that in the in the back left corner. Um, I wish I could just like show you my brain right now. Sounds a little weird, but I feel like you know what I mean. I just want to be able to pull that picture out of my head and like be able to show you like quickly because me talking about, it, I feel like this is all over the place, but it's, it's, that's what we're here for. We're just flattening. So we're, we're letting our, our thoughts kind of run wild and we're just kind of talking about every, every possibility that we've got on this island. So, so that's good. And I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to hear from you. <laughs> Also, if you if you just tell me like, okay, Malene, you know, it, it's all good and well, but I don't know what you're trying to tell me. So like, this was not fun to watch today. It's also fun. It's, it's also fun and fine. You can, t you can tell me. I'll, I'll, I can take it. <laughs> but yeah, so like a big overview, lots of ducks, um, and some frogs probably too. 
And then I was gonna do that in the back left corner, but then if the if the secret beach is also here, we could turn that into like a duck feeding ground, but you can maybe just climb down or we do that somewhere else. Maybe we do that somewhere else. I do have sea turtles written down, but that's always something we can just put onto the beach. So uh, we might not have enough room with that if like there's, there's the villager uh, area and stuff as well. Mm. I've got a yoga spot which I, I do like, I think that's very nice. Lots of flowers, of course. It does have like a very romantic and meadowy touch in my in my head as well. So uh, lots and lots of flowers. We're gonna definitely do like different types of, of um, farms and gardens too. Like there might be someone who has a flower farm. I do have community garden written down. So uh, one or two of the villagers might be tending to like a community garden. I was also just looking at the shell fountain, which is one of the re recipes that I want to get when we do the essentials shopping thing. Um, because I'm, we might also do a small little neighborhood, uh, like a small little neighborhood with like the shell fountain in the middle and then three or more houses kind of like around it. And then those maybe tend to stuff like the community garden or like community flower garden um, and things like that. That might also be an idea. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And then I also have written down resort. Well, you know, the, the kind of, kind of self-explanatory, but I'm guessing I meant something with like maybe like a yoga, like bamboo type resort. Uh, some some little some little ponds or or waterfalls that are very loud and probably not very relaxing but you know um and then what else do i have written down okay we've got everything once right yes very stripey thing here okay let me run a bit further in and take another i always find this so interesting looking all right let's kind of start from all the way over to the right again. Um, and then I've got arts and crafts written down, which is actually kind of nice because that will allow us to have, um, like the general idea of arts and crafts is really nice because that'll allow us to have a bunch of little filler areas that are really exciting and not just like flowers and shrubs because we can just add tiny little arts and crafts uh, sections here and there. Like we can do a little clay area and then put just like pots and um, that little, there's a little dinosaur clay item. Uh, or we can also do, you know, like a painting area or there might be a few other things. I, I'll have to think about it again, but clay and painting is definitely like a big part of that. Um, and then we can we can always like just scatter those around. It doesn't need to be like big, big areas. It can just be like small areas. Maybe someone does like a little art uh, station thing in their front yard and, you know, tiny things like that might be really cute. Mm, and then what else? I've got, oh, and then gyroid garden. I don't think I said just yet. Yeah, gyroid garden or a butterfly garden. Uh, kind of something where the villagers could just like walk around and enjoy. I, how am I doing this, by the way? I think I'm like trying to bring everything the same, the same length in a way. And sometimes I do this. I'll sometimes alternate between different techniques of flattening this. You know, like I'll do the stripey thing just because it's faster uh, and you, you don't have to hit everything twice or however many times. And then I sometimes switch between different techniques and I'll just go somewhere in the middle and then work on one side first and this. I don't know, it's all over the place, but it keeps it interesting. So I guess that's good. I do, I do think that's good. Um, and then something else, wait, there's two more things that I definitely want to, to talk about or uh, like uh, try and let our thoughts run wild as we chat about these possible like island changes and everything uh, or uh, possible like decorations. Number one, uh, some people asked in the comments before if I'm gonna use the in-game sand pathing, um, and I kind of don't want to. I, I think the one thing is just that it always annoys me if the um, like the edges of the in-game path, pretty much. Like if you put down the in-game sand pathing, you always have like the border, and there's always gonna be a little bit of grass showing. So you. I would feel like I have to hide it somehow with like different items and stuff like that. 
We might incorporate a little bit here and there. Um, if we like can hide the, the corners. But I think it's more going to be that we take our pathings that we've got, like the light dirt and the sand pathings, as excuses and like as possible explanations that those are kind of the sand that people have tracked onto this onto the grass and onto the land again from the beach and not really work with the sand path. I think that would be more my plan. So maybe in a few areas, but not necessarily. And then the second thing I do want to say is because whenever I've seen people do coastal islands, um, they did more like a coastal town. So everything was more structured. You know, there was there was a little, there was like a beach walk uh, with like a lot of I don't know food st stand stalls whatever um, and then like these very structured neighborhoods and stuff which I didn't really have in mind with this specific island. Like I want this to be more the natural the natural type of vibe and houses just like scattered around and all of that. Um, however. We might do a couple of, like I said, like the little villager neighborhood with the fountain in the middle, or we might do, we might give them like very typical front yards with like a white picket fence and stuff like that. So it might have a couple of those ideas, like a couple of those town ideas, but it's generally not going to really be like a town core island. Um, also because I don't want to, I don't really want to work with a path like that. <laughs> Like, I don't know. I've, I've, I've been working with my city island now, and that has a pretty complicated, like, city path. Um, but it's been actually really fun because of the overgrown and, like, broken down aesthetic. I've been able to kind of excuse a couple of asymmetrical things that otherwise would have driven me nuts. Like, there, it's a three-tile road, but then obviously, like, bridges and uh, stuff like that. Well, bridges and inclines are two tiles, uh, the museum is three tiles, I think, and then, um, I don't know, Nooks is two tiles, Able Sisters, I think, is one tile, and, like, everything's different, and Symmetry, it, and me, just, if it doesn't work, I love Symmetry, but if it doesn't work out, um, and it's kind of, like, asymmetrical like that, it kind of, it's not great, it's, it's not great for my brain, so... Um, but the overgrown aesthetic made it really nice to be able to just like break the road apart just before the bridge and like add a tree in and then it, it kind of works. I have like an excuse for why it's suddenly just two tiles wide, right? And that that's okay. But if we did, if we did like an organized symmetrical kind of approach to the romantic coastal retreat, it would have to be like, it couldn't be that overgrown, I think. Oh. It couldn't be that overgrown and broken apart. So it would have to be more symmetrical and it would have to be like more according to rules, I guess. And I feel like that would be just kind of hard for hard for my brain. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are the same though, because I always hear people like uh, hate hate on all those weird dimensions and, and measurements and yeah. It's, it's not great. So more natural approach, um, like winding path, houses scattered throughout, apart from like maybe a few, you know? Um, I also have not thought about where I want my house to be. Because like, well, I wouldn't want, I, if we do the water and like campsite thing by the entrance, I wouldn't want it to be there because it's just supposed to be like tents and stuff. Um, if we do the viewing spot or like lookout spot in the back left, I wouldn't want any houses to be there either. Um, so it needs to be somewhere in between. Great. We'll definitely plop some houses on the beach if we can. I think we can. Yeah, yeah, we definitely can. It's definitely wide enough. So we could definitely like where Nooks and Able Sisters is and the museum, we could do maybe like one or two houses on each of those beaches as well. Like if we don't have enough room for the rest of it, um, like if we don't have enough room on the rest of the island, which I mean, not necessarily, but uh, sometimes it's it's filled up much more quickly than we, than we think. I really want to try and say and stuff less because I say that way too often. Whenever I like trail off and I can't, I don't have like, this definite end to my sentence, I'll be like, and stuff. 
Um, it's not great. I'm really trying. I'm really trying. I notice it myself and then I annoy myself. So <sighs> here's to here's here's to attempting to change that. All right. Also, looking at my villager list, um, I did a villager hunt for uh, Meliora recently, I think. Um, like my color coordinated island. I was actually looking for, I believe it was Freckles. I believe Freckles was the last one I was missing. And on that hunt, I found so many villagers that I want to have for Kallen. I found Tutu like twice, I think. Um, I found Apple, I'm pretty sure. Well, we do have, we do have Dottie. I found Savannah. I found like a lot of people. But um, I definitely saw Tutu, and I think that Tutu is definitely a must-have for this island. Um, no, my must-haves have pretty much stayed the same, I think. And then it just kind of depends on who we who we find. Um, I really forgot about villager hunts, though, I'll be honest. And I do think we have to hunt for them, because I don't... I, my treasure island thing is for my other island, so I can't... Can't like pick anyone up from Treasure Islands with Al and Malene. We're gonna have to hunt for all of them. I'm not looking forward to that. Do you still enjoy villager hunts? I know I've like I've been asking a whole bunch of things today because of all the different topics. But like, do you still enjoy villager hunts? And maybe we've talked about this before because it feels kind of familiar, but maybe it wasn't on stream or something. But for me, villager hunts. I don't love them. I used to be like, I used to think they were like so cool to watch when uh, I guess it was like last year or even the year before that when it was all still pretty new and people did these like super long hunts. It was a kind of like, oh, you hunted a thousand ticket, like for a thousand tickets for this and that villager. And it was like, wow, you know, and it was all, I always thought I was going to do one of those hunts because I was like, okay, I'm determined. Like, you know, I, I could, I could do it. Um, never did it. I never, I never hunted for that long. I think my longest hunt might have been like 250 tickets, which is already more than enough. Um, but now I like, I almost can't be bothered. And I usually, when, when there is a villager that needs to leave and we do villager hunting like on stream or something, I'll be like, okay, we'll hunt for this one stream, maybe just for like 20 tickets. And then I'll just go get them somewhere because I do not want to hunt for that long. It's just... There's so many other things in this game that I'd rather be doing. So, uh, you know. Yeah, I've switched my technique again. Now I'm like shortening everything from the back, apparently. Great. I don't know. I I guess it's just kind of to, to change things up because, you know, this is very repetitive. I'm just pressing the left stick forward or in different directions, I guess, and then pressing A repeatedly all the all the time it's really fun you should you should try it sometime oh gosh this makes me want to do a no terraforming island again but eh, i've got other ideas my next project actually also uh might be coming soon after i've recorded this i will try and uh work a little bit more on my city island because that one is getting closer and closer to completion. And I have another island idea um, that's actually very, like I really want to try it. And it might be a certain project for YouTube as well. Um, during which, I don't know how much of the Let's Play there will be, but um, it'll be a project. And so I'm really nervous about it, but I'm also very excited, but I definitely want to start that and uh, so I need to kind of push through with the city island and I forgot what I, where I was going with this. I forgot where I was going with this, but yeah, basically no, no terraforming is not, is not in, in the cards right now. Although I do want to make another, another version of those. I think it would be fun. Like a no terraforming fall island would be great because you can include like lots of farms again. Like the, the no terraforming island that I did before was also pretty much a lot of farms because farms are just such a great way to fill a whole bunch of space, you know. Um, 
Oh, wait, let's take this and then bring these these all in that much. I think to the left, we still have like pretty, pretty long cliffs. Yeah, see that going all the way to the front. Okay, let's try and shorten these all the way to this point. Because then it's not going to be much more. And then if we go to the right hand side and shorten everything, I mean, it's still going to be much more, but you know. Oh, also our flowers aren't organized yet. I'm just seeing the white lilies in the back and our flowers aren't organized yet, which uh, haven't we, which didn't we get white flower buds from a treasure island, like seeds? Oh, but I think we did plant them, right? Because I was just going to say we might have to still plant them, but I feel like I see my coat section be like pretty much surrounded by, um, by white flowers. So that might work. Um, and then we did pick up, we did pick up pink and blue for, see, it's been so long. I don't remember what I picked up and what I didn't. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? I really, I hate that because you always have to like find your way back in. Um, but then I guess it's the, I mean, I could record like one episode each day. Um, uh, that, that doesn't make sense either, does it? Okay, this is much longer of a clip than I thought it was going to be. Wow, okay. We got it though. We got this one. And then, did we remove this one? We did. Hornsby is home again. Oh, wasn't he on the tree stump earlier? I guess he wanted to go home. I get that. No, I like to be home. I actually, um, as I visited my sister and then my parents also came over and stuff, she lives like quite um, far away from me and also relatively far away from my parents as well. So it was like a whole, it was like a whole family meetup. And we were like super active during those days. I walked, I don't know, like 16,000 steps, I think on one day and like 14,000 the next. I will tell you, and this is probably not, don't take this as like a role model or whatever, but that's, it's, I, I haven't done that in a while. I was like exhausted after it. It was nice. It was, it was nice, but it was very exhausting. And I will say that I'm happy to be back home and you know settle back into a routine and play some animal crossing i can't deny the fact that i love to play animal crossing it really i was talking to this um i was talking about this with a friend earlier uh how like animal crossing is really something that grounds us in a way and um it's been like that ever since i started playing it oh i wanted to talk about that earlier didn't i i wanted to talk about the community well it's nothing new really it, it We've been, people have been saying that Animal Crossing is dead for a while now. And it's, I will say it's kind of starting to feel like that a little bit. Um, especially now that Disney Dreamlight Valley is out and it feels like almost everybody who used to play Animal Crossing is playing Disney these days. It really feels like the community is shrinking and just kind of um, fading away almost. Um, I tweeted this a few days ago or a few weeks ago and it was like, it sometimes feels like I'm on a sinking ship because around me, like I'm the only one it feels like sometimes. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of sad. A lot of people commented on it and said, I'll sink with you though. So I was really, <laughs> I was happy to hear that. Like there's still a lot of people playing it, but I feel like not a lot of people are really creating content about it anymore or like really really excited about it anymore even the modding community feels like it's much more quiet these days already um which i don't know if that's just because i myself don't mod so i'm just not that as much in that bubble of people who do mod but i feel like it's already much much quieter and people are even like not excited about it anymore with the mods um, which I think is really sad. And then, you know, generally YouTube, con there's not that much YouTube content anymore these days about um, Animal Crossing or the content that there is, or let's say the content that I upload. I think had I done the same type of content in 2020, it might've like done better in certain ways. And also like some of the other creators that I still do see uploading, I feel like their numbers were were somewhat better which is just because the community is getting smaller it's 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 totally okay too like i'm not saying this in any um in any way that it's like it's like sad or or whatever and then a lot of creators 
who used to like actually make videos about Animal Crossing have also stopped and are doing videos about other things. And then I've been, I think I've been chatting about the stream situation for a while, about how like there's almost no one streaming Animal Crossing anymore. Um, especially from like the people that I used to watch. And when you click on those categories, it's mostly just Treasure Islands which is really sad. I mean, it's great that they exist and I really don't, I hope that the day doesn't come where they're they're all like just shutting down. Um, that would terrify me. Like if people actually shut down Treasure Island at some point because there's not enough people using them anymore, um, I would be really devastated because I think at that point I would stop playing because getting items would be so hard and then tr like doing these different themes would be just almost impossible in a way. I don't. Ho I hope that day does not come. But you know, apart from that, it's just it's just Treasure Island streamers mostly, and then every once in a while someone streams it. But even in like my followed channels, it's mostly it's mostly other games, which is all fair and well. Like each each uh, each and everyone needs to play stuff that brings them joy and that they want to fill their day with. Um, it's no use trying to hold on to something that doesn't bring you joy anymore. Um, but it's really sad, especially as someone who still loves it so much. And I also talked about this on stream the other day, and I was like, I was saying that I just feel like Animal Crossing streams especially are such a good, they're such good content to watch. Because with a lot of other games that have like a lot of quests, and I feel like Disney is kind of the same, you tune in and you may have missed the last few streams, or you're tuning in like an hour or two or more later and it's kind of like okay what i don't know what's going on like what is that person trying to achieve why what are they doing i don't understand half of what's going on um especially if like for example disney i don't even play myself so it's even worse but even with like stardew sometimes i feel like you tune into a stream and you're like okay i don't know what exactly they're trying to achieve whereas with animal crossing you kind of tune in and it's kind of like they're just they're decorating their island and you can you can very easily just be caught up like the the creator might just show their island quickly and then you you're you're all up to date with how it looks and what stuff has been created on it as you maybe missed the last few streams and then you're just kind of hanging out as they work on this island and it's really really nice to um be able to see how other people decorate and just for that brief amount of time that you may spend spend in their stream you're able to kind of see through their eyes and see the way that they play it and um, what kind of vision they have for the island. And I feel like that's really, really interesting. Whereas with a lot of other games, such as Disney or, or I was gonna say Harvey, no, um, <laughs> Disney or uh, even, Har um, I was gonna say Harvest Moon, oh my gosh, Disney or Stardew. It's like I said, it's kind of, you tune in and you're kind of lost and you don't really know where it's all coming from. And so, um, I don't know. I just feel like I just feel like Animal Crossing was was awesome or is awesome content to watch. It's just that the amount of people who still play it and still have fun playing it uh, is definitely it's definitely you know the amount is getting lower. The amount is reducing. I think, um, and it's really sad. I don't know. I don't want to see this go. I wish that they would just tell us when the next uh, game would be so that we we all know how like what to what to anticipate and like what to wait for you know because right now it's just like we're just everyone is just either has moved on to another game or they're still having fun and still kind of creating like different versions of islands with their ideas that they've got some of them are modding some of them aren't and it's all just we're just kind of waiting now i think for the next game because I'll happily play this as long as it brings me joy. I'll happily play this for years to come. I mean, I I have so many hours in this game already. I actually bought three switches for this game, um, also because you know I do make content with it. But that's like a big investment too, and it's been worth it's been worth every cent that I spend on it really, because it's brought me so many hours of enjoyment. But it's still kind of just like. I mean, I'm looking forward to the new game as well, you know, like, I wouldn't really say that I'm just waiting and, like, passing the time until then. Um, that that would be, that wouldn't be true, but I'm definitely excited for it. And right now, I don't know when that'll be. It might be, no, it's not going to be next year, but, you know, it, it could be any time. And 
it it probably will be a new console it will i don't know it's it's um i think it's gonna be be a while though i feel i have a feeling it's gonna be a while and then i have no idea what the next part would be like would we also get to decorate our our like island or town or whatever else it will be i think so i think they couldn't release seeing what happened with new horizons and how everyone was so creative with it and all the design codes and like the literal um towns and cities that people created on on this in this game they couldn't go and do the next game like uh wild world where you couldn't do anything like they must they must include something like that but how you know how would they what would they do would you like i said would you have an island again would you have a town a city how would the landscaping or changing of of your your island work uh would it be more like the dlc where you can plop things down like just from a bird's bird's eye view or or would it be this like third person thing or there's so many possibilities and so many ideas and <sighs> it's fun to think about it, but it's also not because then I always have this, this fear that we're just going to get our hopes up, you know, and then in the end, we wanted all of these things and they just went a completely different way from the start. And then we're kind of like, oh, okay. So I, I try have, I try not to think about it too much, you know, but sometimes it is fun to kind of imagine how the next game could uh, could play out i don't know i just wish they had they had done oh my god we're almost done wait this looks funny this looks kind of funny <laughs> um no but i just wish that they had done uh first of all they hadn't released the 2.0 update and the dlc at the same time i still will remember how um overwhelmed i was and then they even like released it a day too early and um, I remember I didn't even touch the DLC for like a week because I was so over overwhelmed with like the 2.0 update uh, that I didn't touch the DLC for the longest time. So I wish they would have done that like a um, few months apart, like maybe two, three, four months apart so that you could get used to the, um, to the entire like catalog. Although I guess it's kind of, they did those two things together because Happy Home Paradise introduced a lot of those new furniture pieces. But they could have split it up, you know? They could have split it up. They could have done... I don't know. They could have, they could have split it up in, in a way. They would have figured it out. But um, I just wish they would have done it a couple of months apart. Um, maybe like two, three, four months apart or something. And then I feel like the wave of this hype thing would have lasted a lot longer. Because then even if it had died down again from the update, the DLC had come out and a lot of people would have jumped back in and be like, okay, we need to ch check out the DLC and everything. Um, okay, I feel like this, this technique is not working because I keep just building stuff up instead of tearing it down. <laughs> and, um, and then obviously, I mean, I wish they would have kept going and I also would have been happy and ready to have more DLCs. I would have, I would have paid, I would have paid money for dlcs really like even do just do like furniture packs or something like that furniture packs for specific like furniture sets you know like in sims or something um don't make it too expensive please but you know it could oh god i don't know they could have just they could have just made this last so much longer and gotten so much more money out of it too right sometimes i don't get it from a um, like an economic viewpoint, but then I think it was Nintendo Talk who said this. There must be a bigger picture. Like there must be, there must be other. Either they needed the developers uh, for other games, or they must already be working on like a new part, and they just kind of wanted to be done with the with the New Horizons one, so they could work on the new one. Like there must be a reason why they kind of left it like that, you know? And um, I just kind of, I like that thought because it kind of comforts me, you know? It makes me feel less like they abandon us and more like they just have other plans for either us as an Animal Crossing community or um, like other, other, um, other games, other Nintendo games. Y'all, we did it. We uh, just flattened our entire island. Well, I mean, we already did some work before this, but we, yeah. 
Uh, one thing I might still do, how much, how much money do I have? 22,000. I believe that should be enough. So maybe I'll, I'll just quickly go ahead and tear down the bridge. And the next time we log in, we can also close that water. I don't think I'm going to do that now, but just get the bridge removal in place uh, so that I don't have to like, next time I log in, I'll be like, oh, right, that's what I wanted to do. And then it kind of continues like that. And we just, you know, um, oh, and now that we're here, we should put in the flag too. Okay. So Tom, I want to talk about infrastructure with you. It's been a while, but I do want to talk about it. I want to talk about bridges and inclines. And then, actually, oh, bridges and inclines of the island. Oh, right. We haven't done that just yet. All right, that's fine. I, for now, actually just want to tear one of them down. I know you don't like that, but, you know. Yeah, 10,000 is fine. I can get that done. Uh, you bet I am. You bet I am still interested. And we don't have that many options, you know? Um, demolish. Hate that this option is the second, but you know. Okay, so bridge will be removed. And then let's just quickly talk to Isabel because I want to change her flag because I don't think it's changed as yet. And that's something we, we can definitely do. Review the island features. I would like to talk about the island flag with you because I have a new design. Um, and I think our plan was to use the coast flag. I think that would be really pretty for a, for a flag. And then we can still use the other um, possible flag things that we had for, uh, for fabrics, you know, like for pillows or stuff like that. For little paintings too. Okay, nothing in here. And then, let, oh, <laughs> you. <laughs> Let's take a look at the flag because I think that's gonna be quite cute. Yes. That's cute. Um, it'll be cherry blossom season. It'll be a little, what is it? The 18th of April. So it'll be a little bit earlier in April and um, see, his resident service is really close. No, but we can make that work. And then to the right hand side here, we've got quite a bit of, <gasps> I forgot a tree stump. I'm so sorry. You might have yelled at me for that. I can't believe I did that. So rude. Yeah, but we planted some white flowers. Okay, and then I'm not sure. I'm guessing these aren't even ripe yet. So we're gonna we're gonna leave them. But yeah, it'll be cherry blossom season. So there will be cherry blossoms floating through the air, and uh, probably some either like a cliff or a trees behind resin services. So yeah, but I think that's a cute flag. I do like that. I do like that. Oh my god, together with like the blue water and the blue uh, airport and everything. That's actually, actually pretty nice. I mean, I think it'll be a different time of day, but cute. Okay, let's... Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> All right, and I think with that, we did a whole bunch of stuff today. We cleaned up everything. We cleaned up everything. Our island is now completely flat apart from like a little bit of water, but that's fine. We can do that some other time. Uh, that was a rhyme and another one. <laughs> But um, yeah, our island is completely clean now. Uh, flat island, no items, no tree stumps. I hope. I hope I didn't miss another one. And so next episode, we will do... Um, what should we do first? DLC or essentials? Uh, let's do essentials first. So we have those things for the DLC as well. Um, so next episode, we'll do some essentials shopping and probably some more code shopping too. And uh, after that, some DLC grinding, however many houses we can finish in 30 minutes. And the episode after that, we're going to build a mood board or like Alan inspired DLC home. Uh, we're going to focus mostly on the outside though. All right. And that's going to be pretty much it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss the future process and progress and decorating and everything of this island. And then I hope you have an awesome time until I hopefully see you in the next episode. Bye, everyone.